Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 as we continue our game with Great Britain. We are finally in this episode putting to the test the post that the DR Jake made on the forums. I'll try to remember to put a link on the, descri on the description. That's um, is a tutorial sort of on how to dismantle or to make sure that the coalitions do not form by severely reducing the aggressive expansion. I do apologize about it taking so goddamn long and I haven't actually tested it on my own, but well, this way I'll kind of look silly if <laughs> it doesn't work because I've uh, said it, it would and it should work, but well, let's see. I've made a decision not to release the Maya. I'll give you the numbers uh, really soon, don't worry. I'll actually even post them in the description. I will try to release uh, the Shawnee, the Creek, and over here. Nope. Where is it? Oh, right here. And the Euron. I'll try to release these three. The reason why is because each province you see it in a, a, a peace deal reduces our aggressive expansion across the globe, and that means if you release a nation here, it will. Uh, drop the aggressive expansion you've accumulated in Europe or anywhere else by 15 so each province that's something really really good each province you release minus 15 each nation uh, you release from a pistil will reduce your aggressive expansion by minus 30 regardless of size so you could release a one province minor and that would be terrific and that would release, uh, would re reduce your aggressive expansion anywhere in the globe by minus 30. Well, or plus 30. It depends on how you are looking at it. Uh, anyway, if we were to release, for example, a one province minor, we would get a, fi a 15 reduction from the province and a 30 reduction from releasing the said nation. So this would uh, go to 200 and. 15 only so we are looking at a 45 point reduction to aggressive expansion just from one province minor so i am going to declare war on oyo it's kind of sad because well they are friendly towards us but oh well uh, the reason i'm going to release these guys over here is because we have a lot of aggressive expansion to burn off and that is the best we can do so let's get this started yeah 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 and by the way, I need to improve relations with the Palatinate Tontaro. Relations improved percent. And by the way, since we are already here, royal marriage. Oh, merchant difficulty. We cannot do it. Right. Artist has died. Lovely. Production efficiency. I'll take it. Now, please tell me you won't die. See colonial ventures. Uh, Twenty years, seven years as well. I'll take the. I'll do this. It will take ten years. So, yeah, definitely. I'll take this one. Uh, we're barely can pass this production efficiency, but it will increase our technology costs. So, no, definitely no. Portugal against Morocco. Cardinal no longer loyal to us. Yeah, I know. I can apparently take up already. I would do it if I would get another idea straight away. But I don't, so let's spend a little bit. Temples. I like temples. 31. 51. 51. 51. Oops. Yeah, you can go. God damn it. Alright, alright. 51 as well. 51, 51. Anywhere else? 51. Nope. 31, 11. When we reach 700, you guys know my or, uh, opinion already. When we reach 700, or a little bit less, I'll stop building. So let's get going. We are already here, finally. Let's turn 
transport our guys to the dock. Uh, these guys will probably... Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll move our ships there. Oyo, so sorry about this, but... Well, take Oyo. I'm not going to call my allies. There's no point in it. Yeah, move there. We should be fine. We have an amazing technology for technological events. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I will not accept the peace deal. Friedland entered the coalition. A new cardinal for us, and we need to get this guy for ourselves. And god damn it, Naples. Still have that guy. Spain will fight me for this one. Most likely. Is arising. That's fine. There we go. So a hundred percent. We will now do that things. So let's see here. Spain two hundred and fifty-five negative progressive expansion. Uh, let me see. The black hand should have yeah one hundred and thirty-two. Cologne. Minus 73. Brandenburg should also have a couple. Well, minus 4. That's actually not bad. Uh, Brandenburg. They are still not voting for me. I need to sour their relations with these guys. But for that, I need espionage. Alright then, let me just see before we release those. Uh, I cannot do this for that anymore. I think it's the Greek that I want to release. Greek and the Cherokee, isn't it? Cherokee. I think so. Let's let's try it. So, um, let's see here. They are right. All right. So they have uh, minus two hundred and twenty-five. Uh, Fifty-five. Sorry. And we will release. Let's not have to do any of this. Release nations. So now you can actually make them do anything, as you can see here. They will accept because, well, we have utterly defeated, so they don't really care. So I'm going to release the Cherokee, and the Cherokee will be one, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven provinces plus one nation. And the Greek. So one, two, three, four, five. Five provinces plus one nation. You're on. Yep. Oh, we could actually release the Iroquois as well. But, yeah. Sure. You're on our one, two, three, four. Plus one. And this will give 30, 60, 90 only from releasing those uh, nations. I could not release these guys and I, in fact I won't release these guys because they... these guys I can conquer at my leisure because uh, Spain and Portugal cannot do anything ar uh, around here uh, but well, around here because they, we are uh, locking them in they are landlocked but over here they could, even though I could guarantee them that call us to arms against anyone who declares a war upon them. All right, let's let's try it. And the Iroquois, I could release Norway. They they are one province minor. From there, as you can see, but no, not going to do that. I'm going to stick to the plan, Shawnee. Uh, I don't think I can release the Shawnee because they... Well, I can, actually can. Hang on. Seven. Uh, how many is it? Ten. So over here, 150. 90 to 140. Yeah, it's already fast.
passes to the aggressive expansion, I think. Well, we'll do this one. Hang on. 7 and 5. So, right, so 16 times 15. God damn it. Where is the calculator when we need one? So. Yeah. It's over the limit already. Spain has a 255. Yeah, it's over. But let's do it. Uh, let's check it out. Here's here's to hoping. We'll send the offer. They will accept. They have no choice about it. Let's reduce the speed because I want to see the impact. So as you can see, 255. They accept it. Right, so we got the reconquest against everyone. And Spain right now, uh, we have an aggressive expansion of 15. That is lovely. That is indeed lovely. So Spain shouldn't actually drop the coalition. But well, at least we freaking reduced the aggressive expansion that we had like like crazy. So I am going to uh put my maybe influence. Okay, I'm going to there we go. Now they have the independence guaranteed by us, so if they want to fight them, they'll have to fight with us. Let's move these guys down. And as you can see, we ha they have a truce with us. In five years we'll declare war and look at their technology. So in five years I will declare war for a reconquest and take them all back. And due to the reconquest Casus Belli, I won't actually take all that aggressive expansion. So it actually works. It actually works. Indeed it does. Let's see if they drop the coalition. Bavaria left. Bohemia left. Mainz left. Switzerland left. Burgundy left. Portugal should not leave because they are rivals. And Spain should not leave as well because they are Spain. But let's look at the coalition right now. So Denmark is in. Minus 117. Yeah, hostile relations. That's definitely something to uh, embargo. Are we embargoing them? Yeah, we do. Well, yeah, we are. Eight. No, we're not. Okay. Our embargoes. I do think they are our rivals, aren't they? Yes, indeed they are. Right, so Denmark, Spain, Portugal. Portugal should not leave, but. It does indeed work to an extent. Luxembourg left. Uh, we should see a couple more guys leave the coalition. Let's let's check it out again. Friesland, Tuscany. Tuscany should leave actually. Minus 44. Now they will start to leave the coalition. It's it should be fine. And Portugal formed a lesser partner with Spain. Damn it. <laughs> well, at least that's interesting. So I definitely need to, to hammer Spain down. And there we go. Now you guys know how to uh, reduce the coalitions, those pesky, pesky coalitions that, damn, are really, really uh, bothersome. And as you can see, they are Catholics, so you can actually uh, diplomatize them if you wanted to. But I don't see the point. I'm going to declare war immediately after the five-year truce is over with any number of them, and that will be it. Because why not? So yeah, excellent diplomacy. Let's gain diplomatic power. I have my prestige almost up to the limit so there's no point in that let's take my troops though well sure we'll take the long walk 
don't feel like sending my my troops there. And Portugal left the coalition, but that's the same thing as nothing because well, you got a presence in India, sure, sure. Because they are under a union with Castile or Spain. So let's head over there. I'll pick them up there. The natives will rise, but we won't actually go through that. That's fine. Alright, invest five years ahead. Yeah. No. Let's let it be for now. Russia declared war. Doesn't really matter to us. Let's send our troops there. Denmark. Are we Whoa. Pause the game, please. Utmost importance. Stability drop. I need to pause this. Thank you. And a new king. And a new heir. And our king. Well, our heir. Is actually not bad. Straightforward. Well, he sucks at a diplomatic level which is really a bummer but oh well bohemia is friendly towards us let's let's improve relations over here yeah there we go now uh, brandenburg 125 Good ally. Yeah, go to Bohemia. It's this that I want. Alliance. Yeah, we could ally them. Even though we are paying a heck of a lot. Yeah, there we go. We have a royal marriage with them anyway, so. This way we'll ward off any coalition. go self-sustaining monarchan lovely got it and move to there cardinal no longer loyalty so. why why must you test me so there we go now i want to know when the five-year truce will be over 1699 so then we will go for a war against Creek, Cherokee and the Huron. Hopefully they won't ally each other. So far, all good. Who is Egypt section? Ethiopia, Yemen. Uh, what is your dynasty? A Creek noble succeeds to the throne. Cherokee noble succeeds to the throne. Well, this guy actually has a crap ton of diplomacy. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do any of that. Um, what was I? Yeah, I was hoping that I could get the leader. Who could be the leader? If I could improve my relations enough with this. The problem with this, with Brandenburg, is because they are heretics. So there's a minus 50. Because otherwise, yeah, we would be fine. And these guys we should be able to get there. Probably have to vassalize another one. You go figure. If we could personal union Bohemia, that would be terrific. Stop improving relations with them. They have an error. You are five years ahead. I think I can get away with this. Let's do this one. We'll get discipline and force march. Good things, good things. We're only making three diplomatic points, six and nine. Could die, you know. 184. It's actually not bad. If we increase it to level 3, we can live with that. Ayutthaya. So, the Palatinate, how are you faring? Not bad. Spain. 
this 80. Yeah, we are improving relations over here. Does skinny left? Freaking finally. I was getting worried there for a second. statue. Well, that was fun. I sell it. Many years, four years. All right, all right, all right. Now, hmm. how to solve the problem with Brandenburg? Problem is, they are the same religion as these guys. Thank you. We have no air though. See what the drive. Tell me it's this one. Oh, please tell me it's this one. Yes. Ooh. This could be interesting. Bohemia is an elector. Ho ho ho. This could be really, really interesting. Here's to hoping our guys dies soon and without air. Honestly. Because uh, Munster, Serbia, Trier, and Navarra. Meh. It's like meh. Uh, even though we will technically will continue. Yeah, we will continue. And I had another one, didn't I? Cologne. Eighty-six. So yeah, there's only in thirty-six will we will will we be able to uh, try and inherit them? I cannot let Bohemia win another freaking war. Honestly. Fifty-eight. I cannot let them do that. But this could be a very 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 interesting thing. I'll explain my reasoning to you guys. Well, uh, right now, if you inherit uh, through diplomatic means or without forcing the inheritance, uh, if you inherit an elector, you inherit the... Uh, God damn it. The elector status. So... You fucking pull that off. Damn. Well, I am voting for myself, of course. We are an elector, and for being an elector, I think we are immediately in the HRE, so that can actually be our ticket in. I'm actually not sure. I'm not sure if that is true, what I said right now, but I do think it is. I'll investigate it before the next episode, and then I'll tell you guys. Rara left the bullish. Lovely. Only good things are happening right now. So I'm actually going to put a cut in this episode. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, do take care. And goodbye.